like I was saying, he had some of the best moments. And this is my very first moment that I've seen, I seen The Undertaker and I knew who he is and I saw him live. This was back at Royal Rumble 97 when me and my when me and my dad and my brother were sitting second second row in the aisle. Here's the clip. Enjoy the video, y'all. And thank goodness, as great as The Undertaker's win-loss record is, very kind to The Undertaker, since uh, his first Royal events, his most challenging matchups. That have been that been on one with Vader. You have seen thus far, you can only expect that this person to this unbelievable capacity crowd situation here tonight. In as much as that he's giving up approximately Undertaker weighing in at 328. Look at that man's eye right there. Well, that's a gut check for Vader. Well, and Vader, the Undertaker still looks weird to me without. I'm right outside the Alamo Dome, the house of San Antonio that used to hold the Spurs and so many other events. But now, now yeah, it's been, um, it's just been shut down right now, but they usually hold a bunch of uh, sporting events now though. And like Monster Jam and stuff like that. But this is, this is where it was at in Warrior Rumble 97. When um, The Undertaker fought Vader, and then he went into the Warrior Rumble. But this was the first, uh, my first ever wrestling event was right here, live at the Alamo Dome. All these same streets right here, where me and my brother and my dad went and we, we saw greatness the old superstars of Shawn Michaels, Psycho Sid, main eventing for the title. But this one right here, this video is to tell uh, The Undertaker, thank you for a great career. Thanks for showing me everything, all the greatness that you had to offer. All the greatness you had to offer. Thanks for everything. Undertaker, you're the man. You always will be. Remember, my brother always tells me the first wrestler Jesse ever liked. And that's that's true. You know, until I saw this I saw this um superstar, Shawn Michaels, and then at this Roy Rumble right here, I was like, my grandmother, she um, she made me uh, like a Shawn Michaels Heartbreak Kid outfit with the chaps and the vest, and I had the hat and I had the the shades on. But some of the some of the great moments that Undertaker, you know, going to see Undertaker, and then. 
knowing who Shawn Michaels was and where he came from, what city he was from, it um they're in the same man. Like they're not. I can't just pick one of them. Like they're my they're my both my favorite wrestlers of all time. There'll never be another ones. And um thank you hope thank you for everything. Undertaker Thanks for all the moments. But to look back at all the events that I went to that you were a part of, there's so many. But I'm gonna say the ones that are the big ones stand out the most. Was well, seeing you here at War Rumble, then seeing you at house shows in San Antonio, seeing you in WrestleManias, seeing you at every single WrestleMania I went to. I've been to three. First one was WrestleMania 17. Next one was WrestleMania 25. And then 24 was in the Orlando. First one, both the two of them were in Houston. One in Orlando, the Citrus Bowl. So the first one I saw you in, WrestleMania 17, when you took on um, Triple H. Great match. It was like you were the. I saw you in different, you know, in all your, um, all your egos that you had. You had the Dead Man. You had the Phenom, the Undertaker, you had the the Corporate Undertaker, you had the Biker, and that's when I saw you at WrestleMania, was the Biker Undertaker. Came out in the bike with Lynn Biscuit, singing you out, and great match, great match. And then the next one was in the Citrus Bowl in Orlando when you took on Edge and Edge was so like fired up and Edge is one of my other favorite superstars of all time he was so fired up he um talked a big game saying how he was gonna hey he was gonna give you his your first loss at Wrestlemania and about how he was gonna he was gonna um he was like man i was the biggest hulkamaniac i saw hulk, hulk hogan and ultimate warrior and toronto and he was like i never thought hulk hogan could lose until then and he goes that he was gonna pluck everyone's innocence <laughs> in orlando man that was a you know some great times you know and then killed that show too taker but edge gave it gave it a good shot and then the next one was the following year when you fought um Shawn michaels career versus career it was insane career versus streak i want to say but um what a what a that was a great match that whole like posted up that whole posted up with with you and sean staring each other down and then sean did that little to you man <laughs> i was like I can't pick, man. I can't pick. I didn't want to see either of y'all lose that much. And um, a part of me was like, come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. If there's anybody that couldn't beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania and end his streak, it would be you. But I don't know, man. Like this whole new uh, wrestling era with Brock Lesnar and... 
I still don't get why they gave um, Brock Lesnar that opportunity and they gave him that shot to do it. Kind of, kind of sucks. But um, you know, I guess it is what it is at the end of the day now. But um, you're still one of my favorite wrestlers with Shawn Michaels. I would say. Shawn Michaels and you, number, my number one. Shawn Michaels and you share the number one spot in my book. And thank you for all the great moments. And I was never able to meet you in person. But a good story. My brother was working at one of the gas stations. Um, he sells wax fast wax for your car and um it's a good story y'all he saw a man hop out of a lifted truck wearing under armor wearing an under armor hat under armor shorts and he had a like at a tank top on and um He's like, he had his shades on. He just saw his tattoos. And then he realized who he was. He was like, oh, oh shit, that's Undertaker. You know? And um, he was like, man, I gotta, I gotta get a picture. Get to get an autograph or something from my brother. You know? And um, he was like, Undertaker. He just goes, uh, sir, you know, I know who you are. Um, would you mind if I get a picture with you? And, um, he was like, no, I don't, I don't do pictures, you know, as I have my, uh, my kids with me, but, um, I'll give you an autograph. And that like made my day. Like he didn't call me. He didn't say anything until he got home that day. And he was like, I got you, uh, I got you something. You know, I met someone today, met the Undertaker, and as soon as he gave me that, um, I think it was like on a receipt, on the back of a receipt, he, Undertaker signed a receipt, and um, I still wish I had that receipt though. That's along with uh, the story I told you in the Aces and Eights video that, um, these guys that were remodeling the house um they went into all my stuff my boxes that i had with all my wrestling memorabilia my autographs and um they took that too but you know at least you know they can't take the moments that i've had with seeing undertaker live and that's that's the best moments but um I want to say thanks undertaker you're the man the the myth the legend hall of famer and um i can't wait to see what is in store for the rest of your life thank you for everything taker much love thank you all for watching carlito we out